This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. You're getting this one hot off the presses because, well, enough of you said in the comments after last night's little scary stats from the Edmonton Oilers month of October, and I had to go back and rewatch that October predictions video, right? I kind of sat there after the first two games, went out there and said, ah, well, this Oilers team, I'm going to ask them to go 10 and 4. That's essentially what my message was, right? Yeah. You had to make it up in garbage time. That was one of my best lines, I think, honestly, not to toot my own horn, making it up in garbage time, considering by the point I had made that video, going into the game against the New York Islanders, we had already played our only Pacific Division opponents of the month. So, yes, realistically, this schedule, garbage time. Now, what I called Winnipeg and Minnesota was Murderer's Row, just like back in the day of the QE2 between the Oilers and the Calgary Flames. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that right there proved to be true as well. So I'm not going to say I'm on to anything or I know anything, but I get through a month very lucky and I looked at the math right and I guess nine wins was what I said would be crucial for this Oilers team. We're 9-4-1 and one after the month of October and I'm going to sit here and be very happy. We got where at least I thought we needed to be. Now the key <laughs> that I said in that, uh, that video that I'm not very proud of because it did not turn out to be true for a lot of our games is the simple fact that the Edmonton Oilers had to play good hockey and we didn't do that a couple times and that cost us victories that cost us a couple key victories right you think Detroit on the road and you think Florida at home those are two games I'm going to point to actually Chicago as well so that's that's big time but I I did write off three and one on the road trip against the three New York teams and then Chicago. So technically correct there as well. Started the season five and oh, I didn't even think we could start four and one to be honest. So we're good there. However, guys, you know what? I can sit back and go back and look back at everything that we did last month, or I can get right into it and start while well, trying to make another trend here in November. Shall we do that? This Oilers team, as mentioned, nine, four and one after, well, that uh, first month of play and I'm just going to take this phone call because this is important. Hey Budsy, I'm just recording my video right now. You mind if I call you right back? Sorry. No worries Budsy, we'll talk to you in a minute, all right? All right, so that's the Junior B uh, Cold Lake stuff getting into my Friday night schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, you know that all too well. However, I need to get it into the Oilers schedule. I can sit here and play it all night or I can actually shut my mouth and get to it. And what I'm going to do is talk about Pittsburgh. We play our first game of the month, 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Hmm, yeah, let's go. You know what? Way to crack it off. An away game, Pennsylvania in the morning against Pittsburgh Penguins. Guys, these are the games that I used to watch in college. I'd literally have rolled out of bed 10 minutes before puck drop and somehow gotten a bowl of cereal in that time and maybe put on a pair of pants. I'm not going to pass judgment on my former self. All right. The key, we start on the road, then we have three straight home games, two on the road, two at home, three away, two at home away, or five away, pardon me, and then one at home to close the month. Six home games, eight away games, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, what the, let me do that math, five, six, seven, eight division opponents. So eight of our games against division opponents this month after only two last month. Well, let's see, only two at home. So we got to get something cooking on the road here against the division. And at the same time, the Pittsburgh Penguins lead us off before coming home for three against Arizona, St. Louis, and New Jersey. So ideally, guys, I, I think realistically for Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers, an 11 a.m. game Saturday is a must win. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna say, for this month to be productive, the math is, technically speaking, for us to average that 16 points a month to make it to 94 points for the playoffs, the Oilers only have to get 13 points. Now you play 14 games, technically you don't even have to win half your games. You go six, seven, and one, and you've got your 13 points. Is that gonna do it for us? Absolutely, friggin' lutely not. Don't for a second sit here and say, Ah, we built ourselves a cushion. We can sit back because we cannot afford to do that. You see what the Oilers sitting back in the first period does? Yeah, we can't afford that in terms of every single game this month. 
So this is, you know what, I was pretty uh, optimistic, hopeful about the October schedule, and I thought it was really possible to do some fancy things. This is the time. This is no longer garbage time. I'm sorry, I called October garbage time. We did all right. We got our job done. And nine wins is nine wins, and I can't argue because that's what I was hoping for. So here's the problem. This is go time. This is friggin' light it on fire. Get out there and score the goals. Everybody doing things. Goaltending, stopping pucks, and defense coming up clutch. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be as close to a thing we've seen so far this season that sinks our season. And we know, guys, game 20 is coming up this month. And a lot of you guys heading towards game 20 want to know by game 20 if this Oilers team is legit or not. I thought we'd know that by Washington. Unfortunately, we don't. 9-4-1 we should, but we've seen some scary signs and we need to get some injuries healed up. So, 14 games in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you, game 20 this year is against the San Jose Sharks. Dandy. Love it. Absolutely uh, scary situation, especially at the SAP Center to uh, try and know what this Oilers team looks like after a back-to-back -back on the road. Not back-to-back, -back, but back-to-back -to -back games on the road against Pacific Division opponents, Anaheim on Sunday, and then on, uh, well, the 12th against the San Jose Sharks at the SAP Center, as mentioned. So, how do we make sense of this schedule? I'll go game by game. As I said, Pittsburgh must win. Arizona, I think you have to must win that one as well. If you don't go in as a must win, you're going to get taken aback, and Phil Kessel's going to light you on fire as long as the rest of the Coyotes do what the Coyotes do best and just don't give up goals. If I've got that correct, hold on. Let me uh, let me check my math. Let me make sure I'm not saying anything factually incorrect because I know you guys hold me to it, and I appreciate that. The Arizona Coyotes have given up 28 goals in 12 games, so that's less than well, pretty much two and a half goals per game. So, like I said, half to score goals. That's the key to this month. St. Louis, New Jersey, New Jersey at home, St. Louis at home. Guys, again, you know what? We can afford to go one and two in those two games. So the first four games of the month, you pretty much have to go either two one and one or three one and zero. Oh. That's that's the math. I'm, I'm gonna lay it out there. You know what? We've won against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yay! That's good. We broke the streak. Now the problem is we need to go out there and finish the job against Pittsburgh, Arizona, and especially winning at home, guys. At some point. If the Oilers win at home enough, on Sportsnet, you'll be able to hear the home crowd. I promise you that. If the Oilers do enough winning at home this year, we will be able to hear Sportsnet's background noise sound like there might be an Oiler fan or two at Rogers Place that evening. I promise you that. I know I harp on this, but it's just a weird thing. I don't know if it's uh, they don't have good enough speakers or microphones picking that stuff up on the broadcast, or if fans really are just that dead at the arena, but I want to hear you. I want to hear you, and I got to get up there myself. Trust me, if there weren't uh, five million months of vacation that everybody else at work has to take, and I'm the first year guy getting only a week and having to figure out how to suit in there, trust me, I, I, I'd be up there as often as I could be, but four vacation days off and only two left in the year, it's tough. We'll make it work, however. So, you good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That's that's our homestand. Anaheim, San Jose. Guys, this is go time. That's what I said. Go time here. You, there's no excuse not to win both. But you, I don't know who you can afford to lose to more. That's what I'm going to say. Honestly, San Jose, you can probably afford to lose to more by that point of the schedule. Things really not going well in San Jose. 4-8-1 record entering the month. I think they're playing tonight. I'm not sure, but you see where I'm going, right? I think we can afford to lose to San Jose. Anaheim, however, at this point, we cannot afford to lose to. Especially, they should continue things. They've been doing all right so far. And realistically, in their last 10, they're 5-5. Five and five. So, as long as they're 500 or above in their last 10, by the time we reach them on November 10th, we have to go in there and win that game. So, San Jose, you know what? I'll build in a second loss and we'll go... Five or yeah, four and two, four and two after the first six. Colorado, Dallas at home. You know what? I'll drop. I'll drop both. No, you know what? I'll drop one. I'll drop one because I'll drop the other one against Colorado at the end of the month. San Jose. So where are we at? We're five and three. Okay, five and three. 
We'll get to the magic number quickly. And uh, of course, feel free anywhere to add an overtime loss. I will take that if I can. San Jose, LA, Vegas on the road. Day break in between each game after a two game break, getting to San Jose after home against Dallas. I think that's, you, you got to go two and three. So bang, right there again. I know I'm already building up some losses within the division, but that's why garbage time in October was so important. So two and three, well, suddenly okay. You know what? We're talking about this Oilers team being after the month seven and five. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Seven and five, and then you've got three games left to close out the month, which you have to go two and three again. Nine, wait, did I do my math right? Nine and six? No, I'm missing a game somewhere in there. Anyhow, at the end of the month, you have to go nine and five. That's the key. Now, for the Oilers, what you have to do is the Pittsburgh games a must win, Arizona's a must win, Anaheim's a must win, and I think Vegas on the 23rd's a must win, as well as probably Arizona on the 24th. So you've got five must win games of the month. That's five easy wins. So take away, you've got nine other games to account for. Or do we only have, oh guys, yeah, we have 14. So you've got five wins. Now you've got nine other games to account for. You've got to win half of them. That sounds fair. So take an OT loss somewhere. So 9-4-1. Realistically, guys, let's just do this. We've got the eight division games. We need to go above 500. So I'd take a six, uh, no, five and three. Five and three against the division with an OT loss in there somewhere would be prime. So let me math it out. Five and five, two and one against the division. Must win against Pittsburgh. Yeah, you know what? Realistically, there you go. That's the math. Nine, four, and one for this Edmonton Oilers team. Do October all over again. The only thing I got to say is you have to, you have to go five, two, and one against the division. There you go. Guys, that's that's my look at the schedule. A look ahead at the November schedule. Nine, four, and one. Repeat what we've done. Good month so far in October. Let's follow it up. 18, eight, and two to end the month of November and with a 5-2-1 record in the month and a 7-2-1 record against the division so far after November 30th. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. That was complicated. I wanted to see you walk me through, walk, walk myself through it and I did. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that and what I want you to do is if you're new to the channel and you're saying, holy crap, this guy that makes no sense, but I'm sure he will one day. Well, you, you hit that subscribe button and we'll wait for that day to happen together. I'm Tyson Dolan, TV. I am up on out of here.